guys welcome back to kobe's kitchen where we share simple amazing recipes you don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home and homemade food does not have to be boring thank you so much for taking your time and being on this video if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to ensure anytime I upload a new video, you are notified. Thank you so much for all new subscribers. Asante Nisana and welcome aboard. So today we are making an amazing fruit cake and sit back, relax and of course enjoy and let's head over to our ingredients. So for the ingredients I've measured 2 cups of all-purpose flour and 2 teaspoons of baking powder. And then I have, this is the cup that I have used to measure and as for now you already know consistency is the key when it comes to measuring of the cake ingredients. So this is the cup that I've used, you can use your regular cup, you can use the measuring cups. So I've measured 2 cups of this all-purpose flour and then I have a half cup of sugar and then I will measure a full cup of my vegetable oil you can use melted margarine or melted butter whatever you fancy and then I'll also use a cup of water ama a cup of milk whatever you fancy and next I have my three eggs this is what I'll be using for the Beating. and then we have this is what we will be using to make fruit cake fruit cake in a entail easy easy to read to the raisins so these are the golden the golden and the black raisins they are mixed together so you can get this in your supermarkets ama places in a keki and then these are let me try to focus they are tutti fruity yeah they are just types of fruits that are colored and uh, yeah so this is the what i'll be to make it enticing and enhancing so let's head over to the beating of the cake i'll start with the eggs so i'll beat them until they are nice and fluffy so then begin so make sure if you're using a moiko you will beat you will beat them until they are very fluffy but if you have a mixture the be a hand mixer the better it makes work easier so let me beat this and then show you the consistency of the eggs after beating so this is the consistency of your eggs after beating them zinafa kukua very fluffy you then add in your half cup of sugar you can also either make a mingi yaskari if you are more of a sweet tooth i'll then add in a cup of my vegetable oil and then beat it until it is well incorporated I'll then add in a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So I'll measure so a teaspoon of vanilla extract our essence and beat it bizarre until it is nicely incorporated. Then add in a cup of water ama milk. So you can see the consistency. Any cup yenye nimetumia kwa measuring everything ndo nimetumia for measuring my water, my my mafuta, everything. So you beat it. So in the meantime, let's preheat our oven. So I'll be using the up down motor uh, juna chin to these two to arrows showing that and then 180 degrees and then the timer for 10 minutes. Make sure when baking a cake, you should preheat your oven before putting in the cake butter. So yeah, so let's head over now back to uh, mixing our flour. So we'll then head over and uh, sieve our flour to whatever ear and put my ear. So you'll sieve two batches. So kidogo kidogo. So half of it first. I sieve it. And 
and then beat it pole at a very low speed if you're using a moiko in wendo wa kunini ugali the way you cook your ugali so i'll beat it then after kubit pole pole i'll then add in the rest of my flour then beat it pole pole until it we now find the consistency that we so this is the consistency we want for the cake butter not runny and yet not too thick but ni thick kiasi so we'll then head over to if you have a spatula the better but sasa you see a spatula i will use the bitters of my mixer so i'll then mix my fruits the tutti frutti baba so i really don't have a measurement of this it depends on how much you you want the, your cake to be fruity or to be if you have it too many so i'm just using a handful of tutti frutti and a handful of and a handful of these raisins so the mixed raisin and the tutti frutti so it's a handful of each and since i like colors i would want more of the fruity tutis yeah and then mix in to my cake butter so after mixing in to my cake butter and then i koroga vizuri so if you have a spatula it is nice it will be nice it is a koroga vizuri but kama hauna spatula don't worry use your mwiko as you can see but amazing so already we've mixed our mixtures the 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 raisins and the tutti frutti now we will head over to lining our baking So I will line my baking tin with some the vegetable oil that I use. So if you used margarine in your cake, use the margarine. And if you used butter, use butter to line your baking tin. Otherwise, if you have a parchment paper, use the parchment paper. The reason I say come only to me mafuta to mafuta, we do not want a mixture of flavors in our cake. So since I used oil, I will have actually using oil when lining my tea so now if you have a brush use your brush but i'll go ahead with the traditional method with your clean hands and then make sure you you've lined the whole thing of your you're gonna use and then to ensure that it won't stick at all at all i'll then Mwagiliaka, a tablespoon or two of whole pepper flour, and then dust it off. Maybe. So the excess in So this this ensures if you don't have a parchment paper that your your tin, your cake height is on your tin. So yeah, let me do so. So my pan is already dusted off. I'll then pour in my butter and bake this mixture for 180 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. However, the baking time may vary depending on the brand of your oven, depending on the how fast your oven takes to heat up. So it depends. You can bake yours for the first 50 minutes. Alafu uangalie kama another 10 minutes but do not open your oven before the 30th mark of your timer sababu if you open it earlier the cake might tend to sink due how they pay time ya could rise and everything so be patient and wait for the 30th mark until for me, I tend to put 50 minutes first, so until the 50th minute, iki iki tick, time iki tick, no, itafungua. And then I check, kama ya, itakuwe So kama itakuwe I ongeza another 
10 minutes. So to check if it may ikiingisha a toothpick ama a clean knife inafaa kutoka ikiwa clean but ikitoka ikiwa na na this consistency of this cake butter it means hydrate. So ongeza another time then check continue checking kama inatakuwa imeiva. So we'll wait for the oven to preheat. Your time na oven ikimire and then I'll put it. So see you later to kuangalia the final So this is the final outcome of our cake. Don't worry, I ate apple. So it took an hour to cook and so let's cut inside. I'm sure it's yummy, 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 yummy. So yeah, these are the, the fruits inside. So that is our fruit cake, per se. And that is it for the fruitcake. So subscribe if you haven't. See you on our next one. Bye-bye.